Hey, Mike. Hey, man. What's up? Do you like champagne? Like Miller High Life? Yeah. Yes. Me too. <laughs> um, so this beer comes courtesy of our buddy John. This is a beer from Upland Brewery. Oh, actually, it says a legacy honored by Upland Brewery. The original brewery that brewed this beer was Terra Hout. Um, yeah. They brewed it in the 50s. It was just a classic American Pilsner, right? So it was alongside like Miller, Miller Lite and all that. Yeah. Um, so it's called Champagne Velvet since 1902. Uh, the beer with the million dollar flavor. I feel like, yeah, this sort of seems like high life sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking stuff like um, Anchor Steam. Um, not because it's a steam beer, but I'm just saying, like, well, that definitely looks weird. Yeah, man. Oh, cause in my head, I was thinking like uh, like uh, Paps Blue, Paps Blue, Paps Blue Ribbon yeah. and stuff like that because. Wow, this is weird. Not weird, but it's like. That's weird. But you can go with that. It looks like. A... Looks like a cider. Looks like Magnus. Yeah, thank you. Okay, there we go. I couldn't figure. No, even Magnus has like a, a darker, more gold, yeah. like a gold. This. It looks like some version of cider that I've had. Yeah, it does. It's very light. Like, yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, on a, dude, it looks darker on camera. I mean, this is like a very pale yellow. Doesn't look like this on camera. No, on I camera mean, I mean, in person. On, par- on camera, it looks gold. This, this is, is a pale yellow. Yeah, it's very strange. Like a light pale yellow. This is like a a decently hydrated piss sample. Yeah, I want to see if like there's pictures of this online that like show the original. No, they're all just cans. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, what you said, dehydrated piss sample. No, slightly hydrated. <laughs> Let's take a nose. I like that nose. Yeah, it's almost grapey, champagne-y. It's got a, a little like, bit of funk. There you go, like horse blanket. Yeah, lager horse blanket funk. I like that nose, man. A hint of almost like like lemon zest. It's very grassy and earthy. Grassy, earthy, yeah, and funky. <laughs> given this, given the look at this, I was not expecting a nose, and it's a big nose too. It's big. Yeah. It's it's right in your face. Yeah. Wow. That's not what I was expecting on color. Not what I was expecting on the nose. <laughs> well, let's see Do what it. this tastes like. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers, John. <laughs> what? I like what it. What is this? I don't know. It's awesome. I would drink the shit out of these. What happened to Americans' palates back then? Like where like this beer went out of business and it had to sell like and it wasn't. This is like this has the most flavor. Then it, okay, let's say they took the original recipe. This is then brewed by like a craft brewery, so maybe they put. But no, they would have took the original recipe and just brewed it as is. But it's really good. It's really. Um, it has nice hot presence. Yep. Not super bitter or anything, but you definitely get that sort of that um. That um, I'm not really sure how I would describe that kind of bite. It 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 is very much like almost wine like. It is. It is. It has like a honeyness to it. There's it a little does. bit of honey sweetness to it. The mouthfeel very champagne like, very light, very effervescent. Yeah. Um. It it is reminiscent of of high life on the on, on the flavor, but the much better. Yeah. Much better. Right. Like, like significantly better. Yeah. But. I mean, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. This isn't a joke. Mm-hmm. I wish it wasn't as awesome as it is. I hope... I don't know what the general opinion is of this. It's really fucking good. Like, it's really... He sent two cans, too. Like, I can't wait to drink the other one now, too. Like, this is... So, on the... on The the pricing label was on there. It was $4 per can, which if you're buying per can in, like, a, in a bottle shop, maybe that's normal, but $16 for a four-pack of this compared to what are we comparing, like, for a six-pack of... Probably, you could buy probably a six pack of High Life for cheaper than a four pack of this, but yeah, I mean, like, uh, there was not that long ago, I was getting like thirty packs of High Life for like twenty something bucks. Yeah, this is outstanding, like outstanding. I I I think it has incredible, incredible flavor. I mean, you do get like, like, um, you do get the cereal grains for sure. You do get a nice bitterness. You get like a little bit of like, um, just that, that touch of honey you brought up. You get fruit character you get like some lemon yeah. you're getting um almost melon get in, get check in nose again it's a, like a melon nose too you know like oh yeah like, like almost honeydew honeydew yeah. yeah this is beautiful this is beautiful this is the champagne of beers people champagne velvet dude if this was available around here I'd be buying the shit out of it champagne velvet yeah this is awesome is like here's beer I would get this is again from Upland. They gave it an eighty, which actually is pretty high for beer advocate. 
Wow. Yeah, I mean, old school. I, I, this is like a four out of five for me. Four and a quarter out of five. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, easy. Easy, easy. Tasted like before Prohibition. The balance of corn and malted barley provides a golden, golden straw color. Subtle sweetness reminded me of the drinker of a time when corn would be used to provide flavor and stability to a beer. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking while we were drinking this, how great would it be if we had a time machine and then we waste it on going back in time to see what beers tasted like back then? Like, do we think like Miller Lite and stuff like that would taste like it well, did Well, Miller Lite came out in the 70s. Yeah. Oh, I guess you're right. But like Miller Genuine Draft. MGD. Or, or, MG, or yeah, some yeah, Miller right. beer. Is older. <laughs> right. And going back to like the Anheuser Busch products, or like going back to like getting coke with real cocaine, that type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's go back in time and drink a bunch of beverages and do some coke. Let's drink drink a bunch of beverages that killed people in their late thirties. <laughs> <laughs> I would go for this beer first. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, John, dude, thank you so much. This is. Amazing. Down in the comments, have you had Champagne Velvet from, well, I want to say the original brewery, because I think that, that matters, from Terra Hot Brewing, but made by Upland Brewing Company. I guess they, they bought the recipe in uh, 2012, and I guess they, maybe they've been making this ever since. Like, Well, it's awesome, regardless. Is, they're out of, I should have said it, they're out of Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, the beer contains no flavors or additives, 5.5% ABV. Does this go on the wall? Fuck Is this it. in the conversation for Let's this year? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Down in the comments. What do you think of this beer? What do you think? Are you old enough to have had the original and then try this? How does it compare? I guess I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to some older people I know and ask them about it. That's a good call. Um, so yeah, down in the comments, let's have a conversation. Nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if there are just things like, comment, subscribe, those notification bells so you can find posts new videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is, is Nerdsense. Sense. What the hell? Dude, this is awesome. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly, like, floored. I'm, 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 I'm,